What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Orange 22 Fishing. We are back at the same location where I just caught that 26 and a half inch chain pickerel, my PB, an amazing catch. We're back out here again. It is the next day after I caught that and I'm gonna be doing the same exact thing. I'm not doing any challenge. I'm not doing any fancy video or anything right now. I'm just tying on that same spoon again and I'm going to see if we can uh, beat yesterday. It's going to be hard to do. I don't think we're going to catch one that big again, but hey, you never know. If there's one that's that big, there could be one even bigger. But uh, yeah, we're just going to chuck around the same stuff. Maddie's over there again, grinding away already, and uh, we're going to see what we can get. So stay tuned. Hopefully we can get some fish today. That's one guys, that did not take long at all. Right out there in the sweet spot. The spoon has struck again, let's see what we got. Can't really tell how big it is yet. It's putting up a good fight though. Down. Yeah, he's staying down. Kind of feels like a bass. Yeah, it is a bass, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bass. There he is. Right out there where all the pickerel were the other day. Pickerel. Couldn't get the word out of my mouth. Nice, about a pounder. It's a great way to start off the outing right there. On the fire tiger spoon. Bass number two of the new year. Back out here again, doing the same thing as the last time we were out here, trying to replicate that success we had with that giant pickerel and those other fish and it's a great start to the day we've been here about 10 minutes throwing in the same general area right over here he absolutely crushed the spoon right there so let's get him back hopefully that's the first of many today i knew i was gonna get one that cast it really got out there far maddie was just saying to me that uh it's super cool how you can see these fish thrashing around when you get them close to shore because uh i don't know why but in the winter the water around here gets super clear you can see about two or three feet down in there and as you guys just saw with that bass you can uh you can really see the fight right here in front of us when they uh get close to shore there i think they're hitting this thing so good because most people here don't use spoons you know i never would have thought Huh? How many people do you think use spinner bait? Probably not a lot, but I know nobody's out here using a spoon. It's something they've never seen before. I think I just got tapped again. That's another one, man. Same spot. This is insane. And this is a good one, too. I might need you on the net, Maddie. Uh, another good fish, guys. <laughs> this is crazy right now. I can't see anything because I'm right in the sun. But this is a big one. Yeah, it's pretty big. Yep, this is good, whatever it is. I think it might be a pickerel the way it's fighting here. This is just nuts. The middle of January. He's really staying down. I haven't seen anything yet. Yep, I'm pretty sure. Uh, pickerel. pickerel. Nice pickerel. Nice, pickerel. nice one. Oh, yeah. It's probably about 20 inches. There we go. Nice. Yeah, that's a nice one. This is crazy, guys. These fish are on fire right now. And thankfully, he didn't break me off either. Actually, he just tossed it right out there. That's perfect. Got himself unhooked. Nice. There he is, y'all. First slimy guy of the day. Definitely not uh, as big as that monster I just caught out here yesterday when we were filming, but that is not a bad one at all. I'd say about 18, 19, maybe 20 inches. Look how yellow his eye is right there. Y'all see that? He's got one of the yellowest eyes I've ever seen on a fish. Yeah, let's get a quick measurement here. He's about here. 20, I'd say. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, about 19. Perfect. Great start to the day. We've only been here 15 minutes. This is crazy. And look at the stomach right there on that fish, man. That thing has been eating good. If I was keeping him, I'd love to cut him open and see what he's been feeding on there. But of course, we're going to throw this guy back. Back out to his frozen home. Peace. Let's go ahead and check our line right here for any abrasions or anything on there. That fish did uh, get it down pretty good. It seems like we're okay. Always want to be checking for that after you catch a pickerel or any fish for that matter. Just want to make sure your line is not going to break, especially when you're using four pound line, any kind of light line on an ultralight setup, you want to make sure it's in tip top shape. It really does seem like this warmer weather pattern right here in the middle of January has turned these fish on. It's about 48 degrees right now in that last uh, video out here that you guys saw where I landed the massive 26 and a half inch pickerel. It was uh, 51 degrees. So this is definitely warmer than normal weather out here in January. And uh, it's only lasting for a couple days, so we got to take full advantage of it. It's going to go back down into the 30s after these couple of days. But right now, guys, it's just all about the castability of this spoon. Watch how far that thing goes out there if you can. I know the glare is bad with the sun here, but it's just getting me out there where I need to be. And what I think is happening is it's pretty much five seconds after it hits the water is when I'm getting hit. And uh, it seems like they're seeing it from way out there. The fish seem to be stacked as far out there as I can cast. Then they follow it in for about five seconds and that's when they pounce on it. But like I said before, this thing is only a quarter of an ounce and I'm throwing it on four pound line and that's really the key to me getting out there this far. And when you see stuff like this on your lure right there, it's when you know you're in pickerel territory. They love hanging out down there in the weeds. Two hours later. We got one. It's been a little bit, but right out there in that same spot. Man, I would hate to be a perch in this lake. They're killing this perch colored spoon, man. I got one, Matty. Oh, he's way down there. He can't hear me. Oh, that's a good fish, guys. Not a giant, I don't think, but you never know until you see it. I still haven't seen it. Gotta be careful here with all these rocks. Uh, another pickerel. Let's see if I can uh, get back here and get the net. There he is, got him. Nice. I knew there was some more out there. It's about a 20 incher probably, another good one. There we go. Another absolute fatty, guys. Again, this is like a carbon copy of that other one I caught earlier. It's got the same gut on him. Probably about another 19 incher. I'm not even going to measure, but monster teeth on him again. In that same exact spot, man. Same exact spot. Hey, I haven't seen anything come out of there in a while. Check out on the top of these pickerel. It just really looks like an alligator, man. Like if you saw that sitting down there in the weeds and just his face, that thing looks like an alligator. Like his eyes are almost on top of his head. Well, that's super cool, man. Fish number three on the day. Let's get this release. See you later. Man, how many fish are we going to pull out of that same location right there? We had yesterday with the 26 and a half incher, as well as a bass and another pickerel. That was three yesterday. We've already matched that total with three today, and we've only been out here about an hour today. So we're doing better uh, than we did yesterday as far as numbers go, because we're on pace for more. So I'm just going to sit right down here, man, and just keep chucking and chucking in that area. 
I do kind of want to walk around this whole other area here and see if I can, you know, locate some more fish. But you know what they say, you never leave fish when you're catching them. So I think for right now, I'm just going to keep casting out here because it's, uh, it's kind of slow, but it's steady, you know, which in the middle of January, I am not complaining at all, man. That is pretty darn good. I swear, these fish have never seen a spoon in their lives. I think it's just them seeing something completely different than what they're used to seeing. Because, I mean, this spot, all you local guys know, this is one of the most heavily pressured areas in the entire state. There's always people here. There's always somebody else. I think I'm going to keep the net a little bit closer to me since Maddie's fishing down that way. By the spillway, you can't really hear me when I'm yelling, so... Gotta do all the work myself right here when I hook one. It's unbelievable to me that I fish this spot pretty much as much as I fish any other spot in the area, if not more. And I've only ever hooked one pickerel here before today and I didn't land him. So in the last two days, these last few episodes you've seen, I've landed now four pickerel in the last couple of days after going 21 years without ever landing one before. The beautiful thing about these spoons, man, you really don't have to like twitch the rod or anything like that. You can from time to time just to give it a little extra action. But man, the action it just naturally has when you bring it through the water is second to none. It darts side to side like this and at the same time it's spinning around. Sun is going down in the background here. We probably only have about 15 more minutes, I'd say, of daylight. Then we gotta get one out of here, but I'm seeing if we can just end out this video with one more fish. Asking a lot of this pond the last couple of days, but it has, uh, it's come through. So we'll see if we can continue to do that and end out this video on a good note. There's a fish. It's running. Is that a fish? Yeah. Nice one. I think so. It's running. What'd you get him on? On the spinner. The maps. <laughs> Let's go. It's a pretty good one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a pickerel. It's running like one. Yep. Oh, that's a nice one. First fish of 2021. Finally. <laughs> After all day. <laughs> Two days. Alright, man. There's my first fish of 2021. Nice 17 inch pickerel right there. Not a giant compared to David's, but still a beautiful fish. Let me get a picture just because it is my first fish of 2021 and then we'll let this guy go. But again, guys, just like David's fish, look at the belly on that thing. These things have been eating really good. All right, let's let this guy go. Thank you so much for biting, buddy. Oh yeah, he's ready to go. All right, here he goes. There he goes. Yes, finally. I had to put in my work for that one, guys. I got one. I got one. <laughs> oh, pickerel. Nice jump out there, guys. Hopefully he doesn't break me off. He looks like he might have had it down pretty good. Yeah, I need the net. This one's at least 20 inches, guys. Man, oh man, this has been a great couple of days out here. Nothing like fighting, hard fighting pickerel on ultralight gear right here. 
to doing what the uh, big one did yesterday. Look at them in that clear water. And they're all getting hooked perfectly. I know. Oh, and he got stuck in. Oh, that's not good. We need a new net, guys. <laughs> need to get one of those rubber nets so it's a little easier here. All right, there we go. Got him out of there. Wasn't easy, but another beautiful chain pickerel. All the fish in this pond are pretty pale. You'll see that with a lot of the bass and the perch in here. They're all this kind of the same color, honestly, just like this right here. But another really healthy pickerel, another big belly. And if that's the last one of the night, it's been a great day, great couple of days. Let's get this guy on his way. Oh, I want to take a picture of that chain thing. That's cool. This has got a really cool pattern there. It's probably too dark to see, but uh, we'll post that on our Instagram because Maddie just took a nice picture of him. All right, bud. Thank you so much. He's really cool. He's got some awesome markings. I wish we could keep it. I know. I want to put him in a tank. <laughs> there he goes. Take care.